folks, John Ferguson Smart here. I saw a post recently saying that the majority of test automation projects fail. And it is true, a lot of teams struggle getting test automation to work. But one of the things that struck me in that headline, in that subject, was the concept of a test automation project. You see it a lot. You see a lot of articles on how to set up a test automation project, how to plan a test automation project, how to how to design your test automation architecture and so forth. I believe that's wrong from the outset. Just using the concept of a test automation project will dramatically decrease your chances of succeeding. Because you see, test automation, when it's done properly, is not a separate project. It's not a separate thing. It's not something you want to do in a silo after the work's been delivered. That's pointless. In an agile project, if you want to do test automation well, you embed it as part of the project itself. It is part of the daily work. It is part of the sprint. You don't deliver a feature until you've done automation for that feature. You start thinking about automation before you start work on a feature. You plan automation into the feature. You integrate testability. You make the feature, design the feature in a way that it is easy to test and easy to demonstrate. And it's not that hard to do, but it does mean you're changing the way you think. It's changing the way you work. You're no longer taking automation as a thing that you're going to build a great test automation framework for your project, for your application. No, no, you're sitting with the developers, you're sitting with the testers, with the BAs, the product owners. As a tester, you are contributing much earlier to designing testability into your application and integrating automation right from the word go. There's no such thing as a test automation project in Agile. Test automation is just what you do to demonstrate that you are delivering your feature faster and that you know what you're trying to do and that you can enhance your understanding of what the feature should deliver from the word go. So that's my take on that. Why do test automation projects fail? Because you call them test automation projects. Thanks for listening, folks.